What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with week number four of our Columbus Aviators franchise in year number three as the Aviators are getting ready to take on their division rival, the Houston Texans, for the second time this year. These two teams met in week number one where the Texans jumped out to an early lead in the first half. However, an injury to Tom Savage really doomed the Texans as the rookie third-string quarterback, Blake Blake, had to come into the game, and he could just not get the Texans' offense going, allowing the Aviators to get back into the game and ultimately win. It could be a different story here today, though the Aviators have a tough task ahead of them. This is their third straight road game, and in the NFL, that is a long time to be spending on the road. You know, players are going to be tired, uh, but hopefully they can get up for an important game against a division opponent here today. The Aviators are 2-1 and one coming into this game. The Texans are 1-2. and two. A win for the Aviators could be huge for their season and kind of set them up with a big lead over a division rival. Let's go ahead and kick things off here, and they are going to field this on about the 3 yard line this is Graham taking it up past the 15 to 20 up to about the 26 yard line and that is where Tom Savage will come into the game again Savage had a good game against the Aviators in week number one he went down with an injury though and that really kind of put their offense on hold he is back today three touchdowns one interception on the season 420 yards not a great completion percentage but he is looking to take advantage in uh of this aviator defense that has allowed good passers to kind of really thrive against them. That's a nine-yard run from Monte Ball. Ball again on another carry. He's going to take it to the 42, a seven-yard gain there. First and 10, Monte Ball. A third straight run and another good one. Another nine-yard gain, second and one play action. Savage on the right side. DeAndre Hopkins could not hold on to the ball. Great coverage from Tyrone Stevens there. And here's the rookie Reed on the outside. Nowhere to go. And that is going to bring out the Aviators offense after a nice defensive stand there. Marcus Mariota, eight touchdowns, two interceptions on the season for him. He is looking to continue his hot start to the season. He hands it off to Bishop Sanku, who's going to run for two there. Second and eight over the middle. And very lucky not to get intercepted there. Mariota has got to be more careful with the ball on the road. Third and eight going deep. Dorio Green Beckham is not able to come down with the ball. And that is a quick three and out for the Aviators, bringing the Texans back out onto the field. Monte Ball, a four-yard run there. Second and six play action. Pressure coming. And Savage throwing the ball. DeAndre Hopkins with a diving catch at the 49-yard line. And here is Monte Ball again down to the 39, a 10-yard run. First and 10 over the middle. DeAndre Hopkins again going to pick up about four this time. Second and six. Savage on the left side. And the pass interference does not matter. There is no stopping. Colby Fleener with a great play there down to the 16-yard line. Now Monte Ball, another good run down to the 7- and 9-yard gain once again. Second and one to the end zone. Fleener touchdown for the Houston Texans. And they are going to jump on top seven to nothing here early on. Fleener, Hopkins, and Ball all contributing on that drive. And that is a very perfect start for this Texans offense. This is Bishop Sankey. Nowhere to go there. It'll be second and 10. Mariota looking, going down the field. And he is going to overthrow Curtis Harden here as the ball soars out of bounds. Third and 10 over the middle. And that is getting swatted down by Cushing. That is another three and out from the Aviators. Nowhere to go there. A three-yard gain. This is Jordan. He fumbles the ball and not a jumps on it for the Aviators. A big-time turnover there. And the defense making it happen now. That's kind of that Madden glitch. He really didn't make a football move. It should not have been a fumble, but they did review it. It didn't matter. Uh, the Aviators will hold on to the ball. A one-yard run there. I edited it out, I guess. My bad. Uh, and nowhere for Mariota to go there. Starting this game off 0-5. Things are not looking good. 39 going down the field, and Morgan drops the pass, sending Mariota to 0-6. To start the game, really struggling against this Texans defense. And now they're going deep to Strong. Jalen Strong not able to make the catch. Marquest and Huff on the coverage there. Monte Ball cuts back inside a little bit and picks up five. Third and five. Savage on the right side. And once again, Tyrone Stevens making a great play in the coverage of DeAndre uh, Hopkins there. Bishop Sankey now on the outside. Finally gets something going for this Aviator offense. Sankey again cutting back inside. Another good run down to the 38-yard line. A nine-yard game play action on the left side. Almost intercepted there. And that was so close to being a pick six. Williams not able to hold on to the ball. Third and one. And Chapman delivers a first down for the Aviators. Keeping the drive alive to the 34-yard line here. Mariota in the pocket. Over the left side. 
And that is swatted away. Intended for Chapman. Mariota, one of nine to start this game. Make it two of ten as Harden had an eight-yard catch. Third and two. Sankey up the middle. First down for the Aviators to the 20-yard line. First and ten on the left side. That's getting pat, uh, swatted again. Williams once again making the play. That is his third pass deflection so far. And we are only in the first quarter. Nowhere for Sankey to go. One-yard gain. Third and nine. Mariota on the left side of the field. And another poor read. What is Mariota doing to Today, 2 of 12 for 12 yards to start off. Luckily, they did get in the field goal range, and Mason Johnson will knock it right through the uprights, making the score 3 to 7. The Texans have the lead, but Mariota is struggling with his reads early on as Escobar goes out of bounds after a 5 yard gain to the 27 yard line. Monte Ball picking up 4, 3rd and 1 ball again, and he has a Texan first down to the 32 yard line. Ball once more. Up the middle, picking up nothing there. Second and 10 here goes on the outside this time. And Marquest and Huff is waiting for him. Third and 10 for the Texans. But Kobe Fleener wide open across midfield down to the 47-yard line. And Savage going to get hit as he threw it there. Second and 10. Ball cutting up the middle. And he is running it all over this Texans defense. Or all over the Aviator defense. 75 yards so far for the Texans running back. Plenty of time for Savage to work with. And he finds Fleener all the way down to the one-yard line. To Norris Cersei finally bringing him down. But a monster play from the tight end first and goal and Savage is going to throw this one away second and goal Monte Ball a pitch into the end zone touchdown for the Houston Texans they will jump out on top 14 to 3 here once again a big first half lead remember though this happened in week one and the aviators were able to come back the Texans defense going to look to step up a lot more here today and not allow that to happen here is Sankey on the outside he's breaking free following his blocks the 35 30 the 25 20 all the way down to the 15 yard line a huge run from Bishop Sankey there and that is exactly what the aviators needed a big spark in the offense and and Jeff Fisher is not happy with the defense there. First and 10 over the middle. Tavares Morgan, the rookie, down to the four-yard line for an 11-yard game. Pressure coming. And that is another great play from the Texans defense. Second and goal. And Mariota's going to try to run for it. Touchdown for the Columbus Aviators. He was going through his reads there. He could not find an open receiver. Decided to take it into his own hands and ran into the end zone. 10 to 14 is going to be the score. And that is a great play that we needed to see from Mariota. He's really been struggling with his reads here early on. That time he was wise enough to hold on to the ball and just make it happen with his legs. Second and four. Ball. Nowhere to go. Iraq pull on the stop. Third and eight on the right side this time. And that is going to be out of bounds. So the Aviators will take over. Sankey gets stuffed. J.J. Watt making the play. Second and 12. And Sankey not ready to catch that one. 3 of 15 for Marcus Mariota. What is going on? He does find Wayne Chapman this time. It's not good enough for a first down though. And the Texans will take over. But Tyler McElroy in the backfield could not make the tackle. That is a huge play by Monte Ball. Picking up four yards. It could have been a loss there as Fleener takes it to the 40-yard line for a 13-yard gain. Here is Ball again. And he has been outstanding today. Even falling forward there. Picking up four when it should have only been two. And the backup Reed with the reception out of the backfield. The rookie running back trying to make an impact here. He has nowhere to go this time though. It'll be second and nine. Savage on the left side. DeAndre Hopkins down to the 40-yard line. Third and inches. Pressure coming. Savage barely getting the ball out of his hands. And that will give the Aviators the ball back. And despite a poor offensive performance, they have a chance to take the lead going into halftime. Harden not able to get a first. They're going to throw it here. Looking for the rookie Jokel. And he was not ready for that one at all that's going to give the Texans the ball back and here is Jordan down to the 47 yard line 35 seconds to go Fleener is going to get stuffed Marquest and Huff making the play third and five now Savage scanning the field pressure coming he is going down that is Derek Morgan on the sack that's going to be his fifth of the season and that will send us into halftime the Texans a 14 to 10 lead over the Aviators really not that much of a lead considering how poor the Aviators offense has been. Outside of that one run by Bishop Sankey, they've really failed to get anything going. Marcus Mariota is not making good reads. He really needs to be more patient in the pocket, go through his reads correctly, find the open receiver, and that has to happen in the second half.
We are back in the second half. The Aviators are going to start off with the ball with a chance to take the lead as Sankey on the outside, fumbling the ball out of bounds, but not before picking up the first down. David Cobb, nowhere to go. One-yard loss, second and 11. Mariota going down the field. Doriel Green Beckham and Janoris Jenkins is going to come down with it. There is no reason Janoris Jenkins should be winning a jump ball over Doriel Green Beckham. The size difference is crazy, but somehow Jenkins made the play and that'll get the Texans back out onto the field as Savage finds Jordan all the way down to the 40-yard line. Monte Ball stuffed by Avery Williamson there. A two-yard loss, second and 12 on the right side. Kobe Fleener down to about the 39, third and 10. Now Savage pressure coming, and Arakpo is going to get the sack for the Aviators. That will force the uh, Texans to punt the ball away, and the Aviators are back out onto the field. Wayne Chapman. Going to take it up to the 18-yard line and 9-yard gain. Second and one, Sankey has a first down to the 22, a 4-yard gain. First and 10, this is Curtis Harden on the left side picking up 11. First and 10 again, Sankey going up the middle. Nowhere to go here. Only about a 4-yard gain. Second and 6, pressure coming. Mariota barely getting the ball out of his hands there. Making it third and six. Going down the field. Doriel Green Beckham again. And he is not able to hold on to the ball. But they are going to get defense. A pass interference on Jackson there as Sankey goes over the left side. Picking up about seven yards. Making it second and three. Mariota on the right side. A screen pass to Cobb. And he is going to get taken down for a two-yard loss. Third and five. Pressure coming. And Mariota barely getting the ball out of his hands. But here is the Mason Johnson we saw last year shanking the kick and that is going to keep three points off the board for the aviators and set the texans up with good field position as gavin escobar the tight end up to the 49 yard line a gain of 11 monte ball on the left side taking it across midfield picking up three second and seven savage on the right side going to find escobar again out at the 43 third and two and this one swatted down and that will give the Aviators the ball back door. Dickerson right up the middle, picking up seven, second and three. Wayne Chapman up to the 23-yard line, first and 10. Sankey going up the middle, nowhere to go there, picking up about three, second and seven. Mariota scrambling outside the pocket, throwing it down the field. Chance Jokel, the rookie tight end of the 49-yard line, good for 24 yards. And Mariota definitely looking a lot better this half despite that interception. Nowhere for Cobb to go here. It'll be second and 10 on the right side. I eat my words there. Poor read by uh, Mariota. Now going down the field. And Tavares Morgan cannot come down with it. The Texans will take back over. Monte Ball gets dragged down immediately. Second and 10. Savage going to find Ball out of the backfield. Who's going to take it up to the 28 for a gain of 8. Third and 2. John Latulale on the rookie read. Nowhere for him to go. And Reed has been struggling here today. John Latulale making the play first and 10 for the Aviators. Who are back out onto the field. Here is Morgan. But this is going to be a holding call on the play. And set the Aviators back. First and 20 with how much the offense is struggling. Could be bad on the right side. Bishop Sankey makes the catch. Almost intercepted there by Jackson. And he was not able to come down with the ball. Second and 10 on the left side. Tavares Morgan takes it up to the 37 for a 17-yard gain. And the uh, Aviators moving down the field looking for Curtis Harden. The ball's tipped up into the air. And the Texans are not able to come down with it. Second and 10. Dorio Green Beckham with the reception. That's only going to pick up about five, though. Third and five now on the right side of the field. Fitzgerald not able to make the catch. And the Aviators are going to have to punt the ball away again. Still down four as we are in the fourth quarter here. Tom Savage play action. Not fooling the defense at all. And he is hit as he throws the ball. Second and 10. Gavin Escobar, who's been huge here in the second half. Up to the 37-yard line. Now a read option. Savage is on the run. And he is going to pick up nine on the carry. Second and one. Ball is going to have the first down. Picking up three there. Now Reed finally gaining some positive yards. Picking up four. Second and six on the right side. DeAndre Hopkins over that uh, down to the 38-yard line, I should say. First and ten on the right side. Here is Lane this time. He's going to take it down to the 34, five-yard pickup. Monte Ball dragged down again, and it'll be third and three here. Savage pressure coming, going to find Monte Ball. He has been good out of the backfield. This guy is having a great game for the Texans. First and 10, Tyler McElroy taking Reed down. Reed, five rushes, no yards, really struggling here today. And now Savage pressure coming. He avoids the sack on the run again, has a first down to the nine-yard line, a 13-yard gain there. 
by Savage. Two carries, 23 yards for him, and it'll be first and goal on the right side. Escobar goes out of bounds after picking up four second and goal to the end zone. Kobe Fleener, his second touchdown of the day, and that is going to make it a two-possession game as time is ticking down. Six minutes, 15 seconds to go. The score is going to be 21-10, to and the Aviators have some work to do. They really need Mariota to get into this game as he finds Sankey for a 14-yard gain. First and 10 over the right side, overthrowing Curtis Harden there. Second and 10 now. Pressure on its way, and he is going to throw the ball away. That'll make it third and 10 from the 34. Five and a half minutes to go, but Tavares Morgan across midfield down to the 40-yard line. A huge play there for the Aviators, and that could spark some life into him. This one's getting swatted down. 16 of 39, not a good game for Mariota at all. One of the worst games we have seen from him is Doyle Green. Beckham picks up seven there. Third and three, Mariota thinking about running. Instead, he looks, finds Curtis Harden. Curtis Harden avoids the tackles into the end zone. Touchdown for the Columbus Aviators. The 33-yard strike to the star wide receiver. And when you need a big play, that is who you look for. It is a one-possession game. Once again, the Aviators are going for two, trying to make it a three-point game. Mariota going to try to run for it, and he fights his way into the end zone. The two-point conversion is good. We have a three-point game just over four minutes to go. The defense is going to have to step up, and the Aviators are going to have to use their timeouts wisely here. Monte Ball on the right side, breaking a tackle from Tyrone Stevens. And that is not what you want to have happen in that situation. Monte Ball, again, he has been great all game long on the left side, picking up three, second, and seven. And Reed's going to get tripped up by his offensive lineman there. So the Aviators use their first time out, third and seven here. Tom Savage looking for that first down, down the right side. DeAndre Hopkins wide open. He burns the defense. He is gone. Touchdown for the Houston Texans. A 48-yard strike there. 58, I'm sorry. A 58-yard strike there, and that could spell certain doom for the Aviators. They are down by 10, two and a half minutes to go, but Sean Sutton does not care. He is gone. A 74-yard touchdown answer to DeAndre Hopkins' touchdown. They needed a big-time play without wasting time there, and Sean Sutton, the second-year pro out of Wake Forest, is going to deliver once again, we have a three-point game. Just over two minutes to go. The Aviators have two timeouts left. They use one there. Monte Ball is going to get stuffed. A crucial third down play. Third and four. Here's Reed, the rookie. And he has a first down for the Texans. And that will do it. The Aviators have no more timeouts to go. They needed a big stop. And Reed, who has been struggling all game long, made the big play happen. And now Monte Ball spinning away from the defense. He's going to take it all the way down to the 24-yard line. Another great run from him. Look at that, 139 yards for Monte Ball today. He has been unstoppable. Tom Savage will take the knee, and the Texans are going to get the win over the Columbus Aviators here, 28-25. And the struggles of Marcus Mariota have to be the highlight of this game. He really could not get into any kind of rhythm. He made a lot of poor reads early on. And uh, just could never dig himself out of the hole. You know, he just was not in rhythm today. And it showed as that offense was painful. He did leave some good drive, lead some good drives in the uh, fourth quarter there to get those two touchdowns. Uh, but outside of those two drives, he really struggled today. Um, as you see, the Texans have all the rushing yards, all the passing yards. But they actually ha averaged less yards per play. Uh, the Aviators offense, outside of three or four big plays, really couldn't move. 26-35, 311 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions for Tom Savage. He picked apart that Aviator defense. 19 of 42. That is unacceptable. That is just terrible. Uh, one of the worst games we have seen from Mariota. 277 yards, two touchdowns. Lucky to only throw one interception here today because that was an abysmal performance. Monte Ball, a monster game from him as well. 26 carries, 139 yards. 5.3 yards to carry and a touchdown. Bishop Sankey, you know what? He really struggled today. You see 115 yards. You see that 8.2 yards to carry. Uh, but outside of that one rush in the first half where he got like 70 yards, 60, 70 yards, he really could not get anything going. Kobe Fleener, eight catches, 100 yards, two touchdowns. I think I said Colby at one point, but I know it's Kobe. I corrected myself afterwards. 
Uh, Gavin Escobar, the other tight end with a pretty good game. And then DeAndre Hopkins, five catches, 100 yards, and a touchdown for him. Curtis Harden, four catches, 59 yards. And you know what? We made a lot of bad reads this game. Mariota really couldn't get into rhythm. But you got to give credit where credit's due. The Texans' corners and uh, safeties were all over our receivers throughout the game. It was very difficult to find open receivers. Uh, but Sean Sutton with that 74-yard catch, that was huge. Chance Jokel had that 24-yard play. And then Anton Reed, the rookie there. Defensively, Tyler McElroy, 15 total tackles, 14 for Marquest and Huff. Uh, we didn't do a great job of getting pressure on the quarterback, though. I know Morgan got a sack. Um... And Arakpo, or no, Arakpo got a sack, and Morgan and Nada teamed up for one. Uh, the interception, Janoris Jenkins, 5'10", grabbing the ball over Doriel Green Beckham. That is crazy, but what a great play from him. Uh, fumbles forced, Prince of Mucamera forcing one, Brian Cushing forcing one. Fumbles recovered, and that is going to be Nada who made the uh, recovery there for the Aviators. And we had our opportunities. Despite the struggles on offense, we had some opportunities. You know, Mason Johnson uh, shanked that one field goal. That definitely didn't help. But the Aviators are not going to be able to get a victory, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash that like button if you did. And I'll see you next time. Later.